good day good day everybody and welcome back to the channel so if you're new to the channel welcome if you like the content on this page go ahead and hit like comment and subscribe tap that notification bell so you can see all of the uploads to this channel y'all today is just such an amazing day i really appreciate you guys for tuning in and this reading is for the capricorn all right so if you're interested in becoming patreon and receiving extended versions of some of these readings Go ahead and follow us now on Patreon. All of the information is in the description below. Also, if you're interested in custom jewelry, shop Ebony and Green. Use my discount code and receive 15% off on all purchases. Yes, and if you love that custom couture wear, shop Divine Couture for the latest and greatest of the styles. All right, Capricorn, what do we have here? Ooh, shapeshifter. So definitely time for you to go ahead and shine all right it's time for you to shine go ahead and unveil those gifts spirits like look i need you to take your form take your true form all right you may have been sitting and you're like man you know you really want to just jump out there and you don't know if it's safe what well, spirit is saying it's safe go ahead and choose what it is that you really really desire shift into that shape mold into that shape and guess what everything else is just gonna kind of like bring yourself together but you have to decide which form you are ready to take all right mm, yes and so guess what you're gonna end up seeing your seeds grow once you once you take that leap forward all right so everything that you've been working on everything that you've planted you're gonna see it grow once you take that leap forward all right so just y'all already know what you gotta do now y'all already know what you gotta do spirit spirit had been you know kind of kind of nudging y'all nudging y'all nudging y'all trying to get y'all to really go ahead and step into whatever it is that you want to step into and then you'll you'll do something for a minute and then you'll fall back and then you'll do something else for a minute and then you fall back but spirit's like no take on this form and stay in this energy stay in this stay in this um stay in this shape and just see it all the way through right take that faith and see it all the way through and then you're going to see some amazing things come from those seeds that you planted mm, mm -hmm. and so mother earth all right see the mother earth here you're gonna be feeling this love and comfort soon because look you're about to birth something something is being birthed right now all right something you've been working on you're gonna see all of the plants take root like it's, it's bound to happen it's gonna be something beautiful all right so yeah you you you're you're creating something right now you are in your you, right now your idea your your whatever it is your um business whatever it is that you're working on it's been birthed it's getting ready to be birthed like it's been in this gestational period for a while all right it's been in there incubating right and so now you're about to give birth to it and you feel good about it because you you've nurtured it you gave it all the things that it needs to survive on the outside all right, on the outside of your head, you've been you've been putting this, you know, just doing what you got to do. All right, so now spirit like, all right, go ahead, look, you ready to pop? <laughs> you know, if you look at it like pregnancy, you ready to pop? All right, cause you have it. All right, so just go ahead. All right, go ahead and birth that gift. All right, and so look, be open to healing information. Lots of healing information coming in. Okay, so be open to it. All right, anytime you see that medicine garden, you know it's something coming in that you need to take heed for. So whatever it is that you got to do, whether you got to balance out your nutrition, whether you got to, you know, you know, change your medication up, switch from, um, switch from pharmaceutical meds to natural meds, however you got to do it. But be open to this healing information. Also, you know, there's going to be a lot of different people coming in and talking to y'all and telling y'all some things. All right, so you got to be open to the information that they're giving you as well, okay? all right so uh oh, it's taking this time to reflect so right now you you know you've been going through this ascension process and so you have really been taking this time to like reflect on some things that has been going on in your life and that's good and so spirits like why you're doing that they want you to continue to reflect on these things all right they want you to continue to you know look at these things and figure out okay why is this this way why is this that way you know continue to look inward and look up on, look on yourself and look into yourself and be like all right you know these are some things that i want went through these are some things that i need changed by myself these are the things that spirit is telling me to do so they want you to go through those different checks and balances so you reflecting on these things is kind of like a check and balance all right so that's that's what you need to be doing during this time. And you also need to be the light. 
All right, go ahead and take the lead. Go ahead and take the lead on it. Spirit wants you to take the lead. All right, you've been, look, you are ready. You are now ready. All right, you don't have to wait your timeline out. Spirit is like, you're ready now. So go ahead and take the lead. Be the white witch. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and take the lead on whatever it is, uh, whatever it is that you plan on doing. All right, take the lead. It's time. All right, spirit wells. Hmm. So depletion. Yeah, you've been feeling a little depleted. All right, you've been feeling a little depleted, but that's all right. Number eight. That's all right. You're gonna, you're gonna soon. You're gonna be replenished. All right. So, you, you, you've had a lack of energy. You had a lot, a lack of a lot. You, you know, a lot of. Uh, Feeling some some of you guys have felt like you were a bit stripped of your research resources. Some of you guys didn't understand like how you was gonna make it out of certain things. All right, but it's all coming full surface now. Mm hmm. Oh, sorcerer number one. So you gotta work on this magic. Okay. So anytime you see the sorceress, it's time to work on that ma on that magic. That magic within you. All right. It's it's ready to come out. Yeah. Everything that you do, you just see your magic. You know, and, and sometimes you be doing things you like, man, I don't even know how I was able to do that. You was able to do that because you're magical. All right. And so that sorceress, number one, new beginnings, all of that good stuff. All right. It's it, it's coming full circle now. So it's time. OK. Expressions. Oh, yes. That fiery expression. Yes, it's coming. OK. Number eight again. So eight one eight. That's a number like those are your numbers. So go ahead and write that down. 818 this fiery expression is coming through so you got to really tap into your heart desires because it's going to manifest outwardly and so there's a lot of fire in here that means something is getting ready to start you know something is being ignited and you know what happens when you light a fire right it just takes off all right so hey it's coming you've been sitting on it you've been harnessing it and cultivating it this whole time so your heart's desire is about to come through all right, and then fire again, but there's some forgiveness, all right? So, you know, some, some people that you need to forgive, some situations that you need to forgive, all right, before this fire take off because it's been burning inside of you. It's like been in your heart, you know, like whatever's been going on with you and uh, other people has been in your heart. They're like, you know what, I ain't going to keep on holding this grudge no more. I got to I gotta let this go because this thing is, you know, it's weighing down on me. And so that's what Spirit's saying. They're like, you're going to be forgiving someone or someone's going to be forgiving you. But I, I'm, it's you reflecting on a lot of things and during your reflection is looking like some forgiveness is coming up for you um, during your reflection. Okay. But yeah, so this is amazing. So you got to get all your energy back here, Capricorn. It's coming, okay? All your energy is coming right back to you, full circle, all right? Spirit, what else do you have? What else do you have? All right, let's see. Ooh, so yeah. So what do you feel? You know, you're trying to weigh some things out here. You're trying to balance things out. And it's tough. It's tough during this time to try to balance these things out. You know why? Because there's so much going on. Different planetary alignments, different shifts, um, changes in the way that the environment runs, changes in the economics of the uh, of the world. You know, so you're adjusting to a lot. You know, you you're in an adjustment period and you're trying to figure it all out. So what do you feel? Number nine. So you're trying to balance things. You know, and it's it's hard to juggle a lot of it sometimes. Okay. Next, 41, you got to bring it into form. So whatever it is like this, this vision of yours, you have to bring it into form because that's what's going to really help level everything out once you bring this vision of yours into form. But it's totally up to you. And 29, you're seeing your true self. All right, this this thing, although it has been exhausting, it has been tedious, this thing right here is allowing you to see your true self. Okay, you are seeing your true self. You are really figuring out your purpose here. So 9, 41, 29, you are really figuring out your purpose here in this world. All that reflecting has paid off. And you're, you're really coming into the newness of yourself. All right, you're becoming a new. And that is what it is. And that's okay. That is awesome. That's good that you're becoming new because you don't want to carry all the old things about yourself into um, this next phase of your life. All right. So, Spirit, what else do we have? Yeah, fertility. You about to birth something. These new ideas, look, 
Spirit is not playing. All this purple and stuff up in here. Spirit is not playing. Y'all about to birth this amazing idea right here, okay? It's about to come into perfect form. This project that you're working on, this business, this whatever it is that you're working on, you it, it is about to come into its perfect form, okay? It's about to happen right now. Yeah, and you're protected. There's nothing that can stop you. You're protected. Your family's protected. You have nothing to worry about. There's nothing that can stop you. All right. Right here, it looks like you're getting, your home life is getting adjusted. Okay. Your home situation seems to be improving. It was a little rocky at first. All right. But it seems to be improving here. Okay. So things are uh, are becoming better. It's, it seems to be a bit more healthier than it once was. All right. And so things are trying to kind of leveling itself out. And that's a good thing. That is always a good thing. All right. So great job on fixing that but yeah birth that idea all right birth the idea okay spirit what else mm, author so y'all some of y'all about to be writing okay because y'all need to be expressing y'all need to be expressing yourself in these books all right y'all need to be expressing yourselves and and make time to write all right if you haven't been journaling journal if you haven't you got to be authoring okay yeah, let's go. Let let go of this. Um, this thing that requires forgiveness. Let's let go of it. You went through that situation already. It's time to let go of it. No, that's once you let go of it, you're gonna see like things are gonna really change for you. So just let go of it, and it's gonna resolve. It's gonna resolve. All right. And that creative expression. Y'all know y'all already creative. Like I'm telling y'all, Capricorns are so creative. I ain't never went in no Capricorn house and they house wasn't decked out. And I'm like, how did they think about this? And they can go and buy something. And this thing could be like raggedy to somebody else. And you go to the Capricorn house, they done revamped it and made it look like something new. Okay. And so that creative expression is longing to come out. And that creative expression is what's going to bring you your wealth. All right. Your creativity is what's going to bring you your wealth, Capricorn. I just want y'all to know that. All right. Spirit, what else do you have for the Capricorn? All right. Let's see. Let's see what we have for the Capricorn. All right. So, what does the Capricorn need to heal? What does the Capricorn need to heal? Mm. Beauty. All right. Beauty. There's some things surrounding, uh, surrounding beauty. Um maybe some insecurities you know although things are seem really put together on the outside there's some things going on on the inside that needs to be healed all right so when you're doing your reflecting you need to go ahead and address those insecurities okay address those insecurities because you you're not okay here wild side yes this wild side you're in, you're in search of something number 15 so that was number 17 this is number 15 you're in search of something here all right you're searching something here um she's she she needs to heal that part of herself this person needs to heal that part of herself that, that wild side of themselves the wild your wild side is kind of like what keeps putting you into these cycles right and so whatever that wild thing is you know because everybody has a different wild factor right so whatever your wild thing is what is you know you know Constantly in and out of relationships, habitual cheaters, yada, 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 you know, that wow thing that, that, you know, you thought you done got rid of it all this time and then boom, it comes back. That's what needs to be healed. Okay. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but sometimes it hinders you. All right. And so that's what you need to heal that side of yourself and allow your Phoenix to rise 32. You got to let that Phoenix in. You gotta let that phoenix rise. That phoenix is trying to come out, and that phoenix is trying to um, become. That phoenix is trying to become who it wants to become. So you have to let that phoenix come out, okay? So allow that phoenix to rise. All right, spirit. What else do we have? Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead into the healing aspect of this. Let's see. I hope this is a good message for y'all. Okay, so your awareness of my past uh, was a form of acceptance. So whatever it is that um, you was aware of and 
in the beginning of whatever went, happened with you and either a soulmate or a previous lover or this or that it's saying that that person believed that you being aware of this situation right you being aware of this situation was kind of like you accepting it all right so just be cautious moving forward like when you're dealing with this person you know maybe when you're communicating with them or you're dealing with them on a the level right you're dealing with these people on a level when they uh, bring things to you maybe say what you really feel about it versus just like ignoring it or things like that because that person took that as okay she she or he accepted this all right so just be cautious of the things that people are saying to you all right hmm so some of you are finally completing your soul lesson here some of you are finally completing your lesson with your soulmate all right and it's it's working out for your good here all right so you are completing this lesson and so that's a good thing all right that means that you're not going to find yourself in these cycles over and over and over again all right and lastly uh, we will be together once we both heal our wounds completely all right so um this could be a soul message from your soul like you know you've reconnecting with your soul once you both completed your once you've completed your wound healing or this can be soulmate or a past life lover that you know you were really into and so y'all may come together once um both of you are healed and others you know some of y'all might not see that healing this lifetime you know some of you may very well not see that healing this lifetime so overall capricorn y'all got an amazing reading all right it's just a couple of things that y'all gotta work on but listen that shape shifts the energy go ahead do what you gotta do all right do what you have to do and go ahead and birth that idea go ahead and birth that vision because it's gonna be a prosperous vision if you do it right yes you got a lot of reflecting to do but spirit is like you're not ready to take the lead on this all right you're you, i know you're balancing things out and you're trying to figure out which way to go but go ahead and bring this thing into the form and i'm gonna help you because you got your guardian angels and all that stuff with you right now all right but first, like when when you moving into this, there's gonna be some forgiveness required. There's going to be you're going to have to let go of some situations, uh, but you're definitely gonna to have to express yourself creatively because that's that's gonna bring about your abundance, and you're gonna see all of that stuff ignite. Your heart's desires are going to ignite. All right, but there is some healing that needs to be required. You know, some you gotta work on some of these insecurities. You have to work on that wild, that wild side of yourself that continues to come out when it wants to. You know, and you gotta let that phoenix rise. You gotta let that phoenix soar in the way that it needs to. All right, you gotta let it express itself. All right, but you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna see the seeds that you plant grow. All right. Also, be open to healing information, and get ready get ready for this ride so that's pretty much it if you want the extended version on this reading go ahead and mute us on patreon hit like comment subscribe and i'll holla at y'all what goes wrong in your relationships spirits like the thing that goes wrong the most in your relationship is your control issues okay so a lot of situations to unfold naturally so don't force the issues you know like kind of allow things to happen the way that they're going to happen for you Oh,